Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so much delighted to have you back on Agile Tech. Today, we're going to learn how we can create a slice text effect like this. So, these two different texts from my layer panel, you can see I can turn off one. You can see I still have a second one over there. So, it's one text that I divided into two. I'm going to walk you through how to do this. But remember to subscribe to this your first time visiting my channel. If you enjoy what I do, just give me a like subscribe and also turn on post notifications so let's jump right into action and see how to create this we need to first set up our canvas that's the background layer so go to file and then go to what new from the new document you need to set up your canvas your size and i'm using 920 by 1080 pixels. okay so you can use any size you want if you don't know the size you can just use the same size as my own you can still use the same size as my own and then click on create this is going to be our background and you can change the background color from my final design I realize i've changed this background color in order to do this you can just double click unlock and then do that or just go to the bottom and then add a new adjustment layer click on new adjustment layer and then click on solid color okay and then we have option to select the color of our choice so just go through the list and then select any color you prefer or you want to use and in this case let me go with a deep red color and click on ok so from here go ahead and type the text you want to use just any text i'm going to use my horizontal type to click and then start typing okay so the font size is basically going to be too much you can go ahead from here and then reduce it so i'll leave it around 72 and then i'll type sliced okay so this is what i've typed i can increase the font size if i'm not comfortable so i'll go ahead to my option and then increase the font size i need to reposition this so go to my tool panel and click on the first tool that's the move tool and then just reposition this on my canvas so i'll position this somewhere here i think i'm comfortable with and then we'll go ahead and then select a portion of our text okay we're going to use the marquee tool the rectangular marquee tool that's the first tool when you press and hold and there are several options but we we'll use the rectangular marquee tool so select that and then select the portion of the text where you want to cut so just drag on top of where you want to cut like this and then what i want to do next is to right click and then transform i want to give the direction of where i want to cut so right click and then go towards transform selection and now we have option to transform this i can move my cursor to the edges and then i can move and then just drag and then change the direction of my selection without selected what we're going to do is that we're going to apply a layer max to this okay so first let's confirm this and make sure we are okay with this and then we'll apply a layer max to this so go to your layer panel from the bottom but just click on add layer max when you click on add layer max it's going to cut portion of this layer away but we want to get a second one back so we need to duplicate this layer so select that and then from your options at the bottom the second from the right is add create a new layer so drag and then drop that on top and it's going to give you what a new layer okay and we have to invest one okay we are going to invest one so that's the top one select that one and press ctrl plus the i icon on your keyboard to invert that one so you can see it's going to bring this layer back the second one back and now we can use the move tool we can just move and then change the direction of this or use the arrow keys on your keyboard and you can start dragging this around so you can see i can easily change this the direction where i want it to move as simple as that and for my final design i actually apply the shadow to the second layer so what we're going to do is that We'll, we'll select the first layer or well, the top layer that's a copy of our layer and then we'll add a new layer background so go back and then click on create new layer this way and then we want to paint part of this image add some shadow to this and we're going to use a brush tool so select the top layer select this and then go to intersect max with selection so click on that let's click on that and we'll go to our tools option and then select a brush so select your brush and your brush make sure you use the soft one use a soft one the hardness should completely be zero 
with the size you can specify any size you want i think i'm comfortable with this size and then i can start painting I can start painting part of the lower text just to apply some shadow to that okay i can just do that like this just apply some shadow to that and if you are okay with the shadow you've applied you can deselect this Control d would deselect this so you can see there will be some shadow applied to this and then you can also select the top image and then use the move tool or the lower image and then you can still reposition this you can just drag this and then still align them perfectly so you can see I still have my alignment perfectly, but I can see the slide through. Okay, you can see there's a cut through this again. Basically, this is how you can easily create a slight text effect using Photoshop. Like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on post notifications. Till I come away again.